All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goran Guitar, Gracie Abrams. We love Gracie here on Goran Guitar, a great artist, and I couldn't sleep on this one, Unsteady. So I had to bring it up here on Goran Guitar, a great, great song. And it fits guitar very well here. We will go clean, no need for any capo, and we have a couple of chords to go over at six, I believe. So let's take a look at this beautiful song, Unsteady. All right, so first we have the E minor so that is open E second A second D open G open B and open E we have A next so that is open A second D second G second B and open E B minor it's a bar chord so place a bar here on the second fret and you borrow all strings except for the last E here in the bass, so five strings, and then the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. Then we have the G, so that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. Then we have two more chords left, starting with D. So that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. And finally, in the bridge part later, we have this F sharp minor. So it's a bar chord. We place a bar on the second fret over all strings there, and then the rest will be fourth on A and fourth on D. All right, so there we have the guys, E minor, A, B minor, G, D, and F sharp minor. Okay, so before we go into chord progressions like that, I'm gonna show you how to play the strumming pattern, and you can do it in two different ways. Perhaps you noticed that in the introduction of the tutorial, I use more of a strumming and the first uh, opening part, and then I use more of a picking technique there. And sounds very similar. The picking is a little bit uh, toned down. Perhaps you feel that that fits the song better. Uh, you don't have to smack your guitar, <laughs> the strings, and like that, that hard uh, with the picking. So it's uh, a matter of taste, pretty much there. I'm gonna show you both ways. All right, so we can illustrate it with the first chord, which is the E minor. So grab the E minor. The strumming technique here will be down, up, clap, up. So. Down, up, clap, up. That's one round saw. So. All right, the ups here, you don't have to go all the way up, it's like an up stroke like that. You just have to, you can just turn your wrist like that and hit the notes on the way up, so to speak. So, like this. All right. So down, up, clap, up. A couple of rounds of it to get the feeling for the rhythm. It goes like this. All right, so that's the strumming technique. You can also use the picking here, which I told you before, and it will sound like this. So what you do here, it's uh, very similar, but now you use your fingers instead. So on the down, you use the thumb here to just hit the bass note. In this case, the E minor, the E string. That's the same as the down. Then the up will be the answering down here on the G, B, and E string, no matter what chord you're playing. So use the three last strings and kick them together like this. And then the clap, of course, is the same. And then the up again, which means the G, B, and E together. So that is how I use the picking pattern. So slowly, bass, top, clap, This is actually a little bit more accurate when you compare the sound, because in this specific song, 
you have a lot of this open E going on or the E string in different ways here depending on what chord. And here you have to be careful because uh, of course the chord switches here. So it's not always the E string that's the bass. For instance, the next chord is the A, then you have to switch the bass to the A string. B minor is still an A, the G is the E string, the D is the D string, and the F sharp is the E string. All right, so there you have the bass notes for the chords. Now we are ready for different parts. You're gonna play in the same way for both the verses and the choruses will be played in the same way as well. So I'm just gonna give you how to play the verse first. So you have E minor four rounds and it's up to you to choose whatever technique you want, strumming or more picking there. So I'm gonna illustrate it with the strumming. So four rounds of E minor. Then four A. Then four B minor. And four Gs. And that is one chord pressure round four times of E minor, A, B minor, and G. That chord progression you're gonna play for two rounds in both verses. We only have two verses in the song. So two rounds of this, and that takes us to the chorus. All right, so the chorus is played in the same way. Again, different chords. You have four strumming rounds per chord here also, but the chords now will be D4, Then B minor 4 and G4. So it's very similar to the verse, the only difference here is the first chord. In the verse you play the E minor as the first, in the chorus you play the D as the first chord. Everything else is the same. And I can just mention the first two courses are played with two chord progression rounds, all right? And after the second course comes a bridge part. So we're gonna look at that first. So the bridge part comes in about two minutes and 17 seconds into the song after the second chorus, like I said. And now you're gonna use the F sharp minor. This time you're gonna drop the strumming or the picking here. It's just one down per chord and you have a big pause there in between, so. So F sharp minor, then A, then D, then B minor. And that is one chord progression round for the bridge part. You're gonna play this for four rounds. And after four rounds, after the B minor, the last B minor on the fourth round, you're gonna add the E. And I see now I forgot to give you this chord in the introduction. This fell out of the uh, my view here. So I'm gonna give you that now. It's very easy. It's very similar to the E minor. It's Open E, 2nd A, 2nd D, 1st G, open B, and open E. So compared to the E minor, you just need to add its 1st G, not open. 1st G, and that gives you an E. So you're going to use this last E here after the last B minor on the 4th round in the bridge parts. So you play the F minor, A, D, B minor for the fourth round. And after the B minor one down, you're gonna play E for two downs. So with pauses in between. And that ends the bridge part. So four rounds of F sharp, A, D, and B minor. And then you end with the E, two downs on that one. And then you go back to play the final course, the third one. And this is played in the same way as the previous courses. Nothing changes there. The only difference is you're gonna play it for four rounds now instead of two. And after four rounds, that's where you are have played the Grace Abrams on Steady. So that's how the song ends. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for Unsteady by Grace Aarons, a great artist, great song. And if you love her, uh, feel free here to subscribe to this channel. She will come back for sure. And yeah, thumb up this tutorial if it was helpful. Thank you for your support, guys. Until next time, play tuned.